Hi, I'm Derek Molnar, a Territory Manager with Dagoman Industries. Today we're going to go over the first time setup and operation of a ProTail high performance disc. Today we're going to use a 30 foot, but this information will be relevant for all sizes. First we will show the location of the manual and the startup guide. These are sent with every unit. Refer to the manual for detailed safety, operation, maintenance, troubleshooting and parts information and refer to the startup guide for quick settings and basic operation. Now we're going to connect to the tractor. Back the tractor up close to the pro tail hitch. Connect the jack hoses, the ones with the gray grips, to tractor circuit number five. Open the jack cylinder lock valve and adjust the jack to a proper hitch height as necessary. Back the tractor up to align the drawbar and the hitch. Install the hitch pin. The tractor drawbar must have a hammer strap. There's negative hitch weight during unfolding. Next, connect the safety chain. You want to make sure you don't have it too short for turning or too long that it drags on the ground. Raise the jack all the way up. Close the jack cylinder lock valve. This prevents accidental activation. Connect the remaining hoses according to color coding and flow direction for each function. Make sure the ends are clean. Now connect the electrical plug. Finally, activate and check that LED lights are clean and functioning correctly. Extend the transport cylinders, which we have labeled as circuit 3, just enough to raise the wing rollers off the transport towers. Extend the wing cylinders, circuit 4, until roller frames nearly touch each other. Continue extending transport cylinders until wheels and rollers are completely on the ground. Place the transport cylinders, circuit number three, in float. This is important so the hitch frame can contour independent from disc and roller sections. Now activate the wing down pressure, which is circuit four. Keep this circuit activated while operating the pro till in the field. We recommend turning the flow down to 20 to 25 percent. Next we're going to set our easy to use depth stop so that you're ready to get into the field. Extend the wheel circuits, circuit number one, and rollers, circuit number two, to lift the frame up and level it out. Rephase the cylinders at this point by activating and holding the circuits open for 15 to 20 seconds. Walk around the machine and use our easy to set depth stops to reach your desired field finish. Start with the discs off the ground and begin driving. Lower the machine to depth stops using the wheel circuit, number one, and roller circuit, number two. Drive far enough to reach optimum speed of about 10 to 12 mile an hour. Usually takes about two to 300 feet. Stop, get out and check the soil working depth. Adjust and repeat if necessary until desired operating depth is achieved. On average, adding a depth stop raises the depth half an inch and removing a depth stop lowers the depth half an inch. Now you're ready for the dirt to fly. The ProTil is designed to work at speeds over 10 miles per hour. For detailed field operating instructions and frequently asked questions, refer to your operator's manual. When doing headland turns, you're going to want to raise your discs out of the ground. To do that, extend the wheel circuit number one and the roller circuit number two if desired. Extend the wheel circuit number one and roller circuit number two to lift the frame all the way up. 
Retract the transport cylinders, circuit number three, to raise the entire rear frame. Retract the wing cylinders, circuit number four, to bring both wings forward and close to the transport towers. If necessary, extend the transport cylinders just enough so that the wing rollers clear the transport towers. Fully retract the wing cylinders, circuit number four, to bring both wing rollers over transport towers. Retract the transport cylinders, circuit number three, until wing rollers are firmly resting on the transport towers. First, choose a firm, dry surface to park the ProTail. Open the jack cylinder lock valve. Extend the jack cylinder, circuit 5, until there is no hitch weight on the tractor drawbar and the hitch pin is loose. Close the jack cylinder lock valve. Disconnect and store all hydraulic hoses and electrical plug in the corresponding locations on the storage tower. Disconnect the safety chain. Remove the hitch pin and drive forward away from the pro till hitch. Your Autoco rubber roller has a break-in period of about 100 acres. At that point, you're going to want to adjust your scrapers so that they properly shed mud from the roller. With the ProTail in field position, retract the transport cylinders, circuit number three, just enough to lift rollers off the ground. Next, loosen the four bolts on the scraper mount. Rotate the entire road downward until the scraper plate touches the rubber roller. Now, back off the entire row until the closest scraper is a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch away from the roller. Hold that position and tighten all of the scraper mounts. Rotate the roller to make sure that no scrapers are touching the roller. And now you're ready to hit the field. For more information, you can visit our website where you can access manuals, quick start guides, and a lot more information.